Arizona stomping uh, athletic grounds just inside of Mesa, Arizona. It is the third and final day of ACL Open number 10. It is Sunday Singles Day here in Mesa. And what a start we have. Corey Russell alongside myself, Jake Brandon, bringing you coverage. We had to start, <laughs> we had to look at each other and say, we need to start this stream early because I had the ability to look through the four brackets and good God almighty, four absolutely ridiculous, absolutely stacked singles brackets. And if you had no intentions of going on to iPlayCornhole.com or the ACL Fan Zone app and checking the brackets out, I highly recommend you do so. This is nuts. And what a game we have to start off. Just the second round. Tony. Just the second round matchup in the A bracket. Jacob Trzinski and Tony Smith. I couldn't think of a better way to get Sunday singles started off. I'm glad you guys are joining us wherever you're watching on the East Coast, West Coast. Whether you're, join, whether you're enjoying a, a brunch cornhole match or you're just waking up on the West Coast and enjoying some breakfast. Welcome in. So happy to have you here. Let's get this going. This is the first live round of the match. Four absolutely ridiculous singles brackets. Oh, you don't. Let me know who you think's gonna win. I, let me uh, let me just run through some of the names that are in this bracket. Jake Gore. Tony Smith, Jacob Trzinski, Justin Burton Jr., Ryan Windsor, Young Trin, Adam Hisner, Candler Bag. That's just that's just one side of bracket A. Let's go over to the other side where we have Logan Dupler, Trey Birchfield, Braden Wilson, Ryan Smith, Dean Norton, Ruben Snyder, Chad Fisher, Corey Gilbert. Absolutely nuts. And then we move over to the B bracket, which is just A and C, in my opinion, are the two most stacked. But B also has some talent. Colby Shearer, Moses Zizueta, Spencer Fabianar, Gavin Hammond, Eric Sherney, Jackson Remick. Gavin Hammond, Jackson Remick on the same bracket, on the same side of the bracket. Look out for the Colorado kids. Steve Schrader, Hayden Gonzalez, Noah Almanza, Caleb Batson, Rosie Streaker, Peters is way to Vincent Frisch, Alex Hicks. I am glad that these two are slinging it, so I have plenty of time to go through these brackets. Bracket C, the other bracket of death, in my opinion. Jack Gore, Devin Harbaugh, Alec Ryan, Chris Roybal, Sammy Soto, Alex Rawls, Derek Holland, Caleb Maldinka, Fisher Hamilton, Gio Mora, AJ Sims, Logan Chamberlain, Eric Zockline, Nate Boyer, Bella Soprano, and Alex McDonald, all in one bracket. And then finally in bracket D, that one tails off just a little bit, but not by that much. We got players like Carson Getty, Saul Sandoval, Doug Zapt, Donovan Sinelli, Gavin Cano, Austin Waskow, Andrew Labrador, Eddie Grindersleeve. Richard Nyberg, Brian Brewer, Brandon Martinez, Hunter Thorson, Ty Lopez, Dave Sutton, Landon Crabtree. I mean, talk about a stacked bracket. 
There we go. Scoreboard not working. It wasn't working, but it doesn't matter because there's no score through four rounds. <laughs> yeah, bracket D is definitely the uh, the worst, uh, the, not the worst, but the uh, the least stacked out of the two. Frickin' nuts. Let's see what Trzinski does here. Oh, he went for the airmail, and that's going to be the first points of the game. Tony Smith is going to pick up one. Throwing in 11-6. That was either player's first miss of the game. Wow. Matter of numbers round. I mean, you're right. You're right. Number of rounds matter. Let us know. Uh, let me know where you're tuning in from. Corey's adjusting some settings on TikTok cam right now. So I'm, I'm flying solo for a little bit. Let me know where you're watching from. And what you plan on doing. Oh, we went again for the airmail. Missed it. This one, it stayed on, though. Tony Smith cleans up for a four-bagger. He is 23 out of 24. Oh, and Trzinski and ones himself. We got UK. We got the New Hampshire, Texas. New Hampshire, D.C., Georgia. And it, uh, and it has been confirmed our next match, also from the same bracket, also just a second round match. How about the man who uh, won everything last night, Trey Birchfield, versus one of the phenoms in the game looking to win Rookie of the Year, Braden Wilson. So Trey Birchfield, Braden Wilson up next. Ten minutes from the Cobb brothers. Shout out the Cobb brothers. Love to see it. Another four bagger from Tony. Another two points. Sorry, all the score bug is doing the thing where it doesn't refresh. I have to do it manually. What's up? Yeah, first game being weird. It should be fine after that. 6 0 start. And if you're keeping track at home through seven rounds, Tony Smith is 27 out of 28. Jake, you know what time it is. I do, Mark Richards. It's, uh, it's 9.37 in Mesa, Arizona. I can, I can tell time. I can't do much of anything else, but I can tell time like the best of them. Social, another double four-bagger wash. It's tea time. I like it. I like it. Mark Richards hitting up the links this morning, huh? What can he do? Um, hello? What's up, Corey? Corey Russell back in after doing some editing. What's going on, brother? Jake, you had me on mute that whole time. What the heck? Yeah, man. Sorry. You don't get to talk. <laughs> it's like, no, um, I don't know if you've been paying attention to this game whatsoever, but um, they haven't been missing. Okay. Well, that's a... Uh See All if right. Tony can collect this. Oh, he throws it off the back. That is Tony's second miss of the game, and we are in round number nine. And we are live on TikTok now. So. Hey. Got to support my boy. There you go. All right, so they haven't been missing. Oh, I mean, Trzinski has been. Tony Smith has not been. But that's, that's a three-point round, correct? That is Nine a three-point round, six. yep. Okay. Yep. All right, we're back in it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here, and we're going to have a good day of open singles. Seven four-baggers through nine rounds for Tony Smith. Oh, can you unmute those uh, mid mics right yep. there? There we so go. So you can, you can see the, hear the board cams. Mm-hmm. Mark Richards got to support his boy, Tony Smith. I'll tell you right now, Mark, if Tony can throw like this in April, it's maybe the easiest uh, easiest team ever. You don't have to do nothing, Mark. You just throw the bags back down to your partner and let him take care of everything. 
Trzinski is on the board with a four bagger there. Make it 9 2. I wonder if it's uh, if Trzinski is struggling because he's wearing sleeves. Ah, uh, that could be it. A little restricted there. Yeah. Okay. Remember, remember a couple of years ago when um, I don't know if you were here or we were around back then, but there was a there was a, a phase a couple of years ago that Noah Wooten went through where he would just take his shirt off and and play cornhole shirtless, uh, like at the open event. Oh, really? I do not remember that. That was a fun time. <laughs> if anybody remembers that in the chat, let me know. There was like a string of like two or three opens where he would just take his shirt off and play shirtless. I mean, I, I give it to him. It's pretty fun. Oh, yeah. Another four-bagger for Tony. Another two points. Wow. It's 11 to 2. So Sunday morning people like Facebook. They, uh, YouTube's a little slow this morning. You know, the YouTube, right. YouTube crowd likes to party, so. Yep. They uh, are YouTube, gonna wake up a little yeah, later. YouTube crowds, uh, YouTube crowds a little hungover. <laughs> it sounds like. And what's up, everybody in TikTok? What's going on? <clears throat> JJ, thank you for your service. Heck yeah. We need a Brandon Martinez game. Dude, brackets are stacked. I don't know if you talked about them, but. Oh, it falls. Oh, I, that's exactly what I talked about. I went through all of the brackets. Okay. Another double four-bagger wash. I think the only thing crazier than how stacked the brackets are is the fact that currently Jacob Trzinski is throwing a 10-6-7, has thrown seven four-baggers through 12 rounds, and has scored two points. Uh, yeah, that's, that's tough. <laughs> I would I would quit. I think I would quit the game of Cornell. Yeah, I'd be like, all right, see you guys later. That is frustrating. Um, but I feel like it's it's always Jacob Trzinski. He always has a high PPR, does nothing but run bags after run bags, and loses. Yeah. So our uh, Alicia's in the TikTok chats. What's up, Alicia? She says, hi, guys. Social. Scott Nail, happy Sunday. Yes, happy Sunday to you, Scott. Well, if you were uh, if you were planning on not drinking today, this is not the game you want to watch. Because <laughs> we have had one, two, three, four, five, seven socials already in this game. All righty. Speaking of, I have tea this morning. It's beautiful. Hey. Hi from Germany. <clears throat> Bring back Noah like that. Facts. <laughs> yeah, he does have those uh, pro snipers working. The boards look like they're playing pretty fast this morning. I think they're also throwing fast bags. So. Yeah. But, yeah, definitely faster than what Tony was throwing yesterday with those mercenaries. Yeah. But we're telling secrets. I wonder what they said. I don't know. I wish, I wish we could know. I may ask Tony after the game. Oh, did Jacob take out the headphones? All right. The world will never know. Nope. <laughs> First bag block attempt from Tony. Misses left. Region truck. Jesus, all, he comes around it. All I have to say to that is Great Lakes. Shout out to Miguel. <laughs> Windsor just got beat. Windsor is in that stacked bracket. How about Julius Reyes Jr. taking down Ryan Windsor 21 to 16? Oh, wow. A Logic Cornhole sponsored player. Shout out Logic Cornhole, sp sponsor for this weekend along with Brotherhood. I, I talked to the owner. He said, watch out for juice, they call him. So taking down Ryan Windsor is a, you know, pretty big feat right there. I mean, this is nuts, dude. I'm talking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine socials in a row. Each player has made the last 16 in a row. Krasinski, I'm uh, sorry, Tony Smith has made 20 in a row. 
Wow. Very impressive here. You know, come out early in the morning and just start throwing. Throwing heat already. There we go. 24 in a row from Tony Smith. 20 in a row from Jacob Trzinski. Five consecutive socials. It's a good thing we don't have an alcoholic beverage in front of us. <laughs> Very good. Do a PPR check. Tony Smith in 11, 5, 6, 13, 4 baggers through 16 rounds. Trzinski throwing an 11 has scored two points. Yep. But this could be an opportunity. Yeah, it looks like we have our first miss here. That bag, he's not, he's not going to go for that. No, definitely not. Krasinski, good back block. Here we go. I assume we'll see a Tony Smith roll. Yep. Beautifully and done. Collects, too. Wow, that was a great bag. Krasinski replaces. Tony Smith in with a 10. 24 in a row from Trzinski. As we take a look at this shot, this nice rollover by Tony Smith, he can do it all. Oh, I need to fix that replay on TikTok. Oh, just by going like that. There we go. 11-4. Livestream Sports says good morning, Goldberg. Good morning. 24 in a row, and he scored two points. God, that's nuts, <laughs> dude. That is nuts. Yeah. Uh-oh. Let's see if Tony can sneak in here and end the streak of Draczynski. He can. All right, so they are what? 27 of 28 bags? Yeah, yeah both of them. Seventy-two bags thrown by Tony Smith. Sixty-eight of them in the hole. Sixty-four in for Trzinski. Six on. Okay, those two are two off. misses right there. Tony tried to Here roll on that last shot. Trzinski pushes through. Another four bagger, give him four. Climbing back into this one. Don't forget, coming up next, we'll go to the other side of bracket A. Another second round match, Trey Birchfield, Braden Wilson. Um, I don't know, uh, Candler Bag has played one game so far. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if he won or lost that, so. If I can find what bracket he's in, I can tell you. Bracket A. Oh, he's in A also? Damn, he's in the death. Yeah. He's in the death bracket too. <laughs> he won his first game and is currently tied four to four against Adam Hisner. If you didn't watch uh, last night, uh, cover your ears. Spoiler alert. Trey Birchfield and Adam Hisner took down open doubles last night. Go ahead and you make sure and you watch that whole video from yesterday if you didn't watch it. There are some oh, amazing no. games. Tony Smith thought he could sneak in and get two. He ends up missing left and knocking in Jacob's bag. That's a four-point swing. There we go. Jacob right back in it. 13-10. Staying strong. An 11-1 for Trzinski and 11-2-5 for Tony Smith. Bags a hanger on that right side. We'll see if Tony goes after it. He most certainly is, right? Yup, right away. 
not even waiting. Yeah, Tony Smith. I just he can hit those. Another social. Take a look at this one more time. If it's barely in the hole, Tony's gonna go for it. Oh yeah. Let's do another social update. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven socials through 22 rounds. That is a 50% social rate for my math wizards at home. Wow, Jacob, Jake with the math. Sorry. Actually, technically, I've only thrown 21 rounds, so it's a little more than 22. 50%, excuse me. Well, we got 3K tuning in on TikTok. 3,000 of y'all? Holy mm -hmm. crap. What up, TikTok? Appreciate y'all. We got Rodney tuning in from Detroit, Michigan. Oh, Detroit. What a fun place. I love Detroit. The Detroit we had a national in Detroit last year. It was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. It was a great time. I was pleasantly surprised. All right, so the score is still 10 to 13. So Jacob's persistence, persistence, yes, is paying off here. Two of the best players from the Northeast Conference do in battle. I'm sure, I, I mean, They've probably played, what, hundreds upon hundreds of times against each other in singles? Yeah. And, you know, previous teammates, so. Yeah, yeah. Tony Smith, aggressive, going at it. Oh, oh. he does not grab it. That's going to be a two spot for Trzinski. And after all that, it's a one point game. Yeah, Tony went for that back, just missed it a tiny bit left. Just like an inch more right, it probably would have got it. Round 24 already, and I haven't seen a single sign of things ending anytime soon. Uh, do we know what bags they're throwing, Jake? Uh, yeah, Tony's throwing pro snipers, and Trzinski is throwing AAR rippers. Somebody said the score is wrong in the chat and that we should be fired. Mm. It's a good thing that we're not officials and it's not our job to keep track of the score. It yep. is on the players. Yes. Tony going up oh. and hits the airmail drag. Another airmail drag from Tony Smith. If it's barely hanging in the hole, he's going for it and he's going to hit it. Beautiful. Well, chat says the score is wrong, but... As far as Trzinski and Tony know, it is a lead change. It is now 14-13. Jacob Trzinski is in the lead. Yep, scoring works. One on the board, three in the hole. Uh, and it's cancellation scoring. First to 21. Yeah, it is not our job to intervene. Nope. So... It is if, not. If we were officials, we were officially watching the match, we could say something, but it is not our job. It is totally on the players. Even even if we wanted to, it's too late. If we had noticed it, we could have said something, but once they input the next round, it is technically not up to us. Yes. Krasinski matted himself for that one, had a chance to score two more. Oh. Let's see if he goes after it. Jacob is just as aggressive as Tony, but I doubt he's just going to slide in here. <laughs> this would be aggressive going for yeah, that would be bag. Super aggressive, yeah. All right, in for the watch. Yeah, that. So, okay, uh, so the score, so the score is correct. You guys are just flipping out over nothing. Yeah, because the iPads being finicky this first match, it'll probably, it, it sometimes it happens. Yeah. It, every every once in a while, that's, the only, that's one of the only problems with, uh, with uh, having this iPad is that every once in a while it won't update. I'll have to manually hit the refresh button in the browser, and then it will fix itself. 
the next match. So. Yeah, so Jake, yeah, didn't hit refresh during My bad. that four-point round. My which, bad. Which is all good. But uh, hopefully it uh, works for the rest of the day. So who was it that was yelling at me? I want an apology. Yeah. I want an apology. I'm going to scroll through you. I want an apology. You owe Jake an apology. <laughs> it was somebody. I don't feel like looking through. But I, I, I want an apology. No, Sporebagger Fortress, Zinsky Social. We're using the uh, ACL proprietary software. All right, so 14-13. Yep, score remains round. Oh, it's 20, already round 27. 27. What? I'm telling you, bro. All right, who said over under on 30? Because it's definitely going 30. Yeah. Unless Krasinski scores a seven, scores a seven spot right here. Did you just say how many socials it was? I will after this round because they're going to get another social. <laughs> this is going 40 rounds. Tony's calling it. Four bagger for Trzinski. And another. Another social. Update, please, on the socials, Jake. Let's do it. All right. Well, they started off with four straight socials before a point was scored. And then they went on a run where they had one, two, three, four, five straight socials before somebody scored a point. So in total, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen socials. How many beverages does that equate to? <laughs> a lot. Yeah, 14 socials through 27 rounds. I mean, they're still at a 50% pace. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa. Whoopsie. A short bag out of the hand of Jacob Drzezinski. That's something we haven't seen all weekend. Yeah, you have to take a minute there. So what did I just do? Oh, and another oh, mess. Oh, no, this is five. Tony doesn't want it going 30 rounds. Oh, oh, no, it sits in the hole. Did not expect that to happen. We talk, we're talking up all these double four-bagger watches they've had. How about a, a little 10-on-7 action there, huh? <laughs> wow. Is that a chat jinx because they were asking for how many socials they yeah, are? Right? Somebody said in the chat, somebody tell them that I'm drunk at 9 a.m. because of them. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you want an update on the Candler bag game, you can use the ACL Fanzo app on oh, your yeah. phone and search his name. All I know is that if I'm Brayden Wilson and Trey Birchfield right now, I'm pissed that this game is taking so long. <laughs> yeah. Knowing that they're next on the court, <laughs> but you know what's even worse, Corey? You know what the winner of this game is gifted with? What? A match against Justin Burton Jr. Oh, fun. <laughs> oh, nice backside air mail for Tony. Our what? He's got San a Diego we, open singles winner. Yeah. He's got to get a bag in here. And he does. He gets them all. Good collect. Yeah, so winner has to take on the... Uh, the, reigning, the, the defending champion. Yeah, exactly. So that's always a good time. And from what I saw in Justin Burton Jr. in San Diego, he's uh, looking good. He's throwing pretty hot right now. So it's going to be a tough task to, if you want to take JBJ down. All right. Tony Smith still, oh, he's up two points, 16 to 14. Did we reach round 30? We are yeah, on 30. I do not think we're going to go to 40, though. Never say never, Jake. Another Ooh. social. Jake's going to be so energized after this match. <laughs> I need it. I was sitting in the hotel lobby, and I was like, man, I'm tired. And I got to start talking and 
an hour. Yeah. We're making Jake wake up early over here. Crazy. <laughs> I mean, and really, it, it's not early because in my internal clock, it's really noon right now. Uh, okay. But I was, look, I was looking at it. So daylight savings is in 15 days. So if we had done this 15 days later, it would be a three-hour time difference because Arizona doesn't follow oh, yeah, yeah, daylight yeah. savings time. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Tried to sneak around. Yeah, but that bag's still in play. It's going with the I slide think, yeah, shot. I think it's going on a slide. The question is, does Tony think that, or is he going to go up and get it? He's going up, and he gets it anyway. <laughs> oh, Tony stupid. Smith, the airmail drag machine. Mm -hmm. And another social. All right. These two are just locked in. It's crazy. This is some consi consistency right here. Who took doubles last night? All right, everyone that didn't watch, close your ears. Spoiler alert. Trey Birchfield and Adam Hisner beat Gavin Cano and Alec Ryan to take down open doubles last night. Tony Smith's first bag hits the dead spot. I really want him to go after this. And I think he's thinking about it, too. I really want him to go after this, but I think he's going to stay smart that, and go around it. That bag is low. I really want – I think he can get it, too. You have, what, a bag of landing room right there? Yeah, but if it wasn't a close game, I think he would go after it. But I think he's going to cut around this one more time and take his 10. Oh, oh, no, it hits the bag. And now Trzinski can go in for four and take the lead. And he does. Great cut around from Trzinski. That's a lead change. Somebody wants to know what the record is for most rounds. I'm not sure if there's an actual legitimate record, but I know a live stream record is, I believe, 49. Either 48 or 90, 49, and I believe it was the San Diego Open two years ago between yeah. Trey Birchfield and Josh Holland mm -hmm. that went 49 rounds. Corn nuts crunch time. I like it. There we go. Brought to you by Corn. Corey Russell. Hey. <laughs> I am literally bringing you the stream. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I oh, no, Tony hits a dead spot again. And, to and uh, Trzinski's bag falls. Too. Yeah, and Trzinski also has a lane. Oh, man. Trzinski sneaks around it, and now Tony's going to go after it. If he hits this. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> yeah. I will throw up. Oh, he hits the dead spot. I mean, he throws it short. Oopsie. And now this bag in the hole is going to what? It's not. Tony has to go grab something here. Crazy shot incoming. Oh, oh my God. What? <laughs> what? what? What did he just do? Are you serious right now? <laughs> Oh, my God. I mean, shot of the year, shot of the season, shot of all time. What? That was to insane. stay in the game? Even he was like, <laughs> <laughs> are you for real, bro? Oh, my God. There's no way. All right. He's still in it. Wow. Oh, dude, the chat's gone, going nuts. Corey's going nuts because the board's not up. Oh. oh, my God. What? After all that, Trzinski gets one. It's 19 to 16. That is one of the greatest shots you will ever see in the game of Cornhole. Wow. Ever. <laughs> ever. Oh, you should have seen everybody in the crowd, too. Jake. Oh, my God. God. JBJ was over here, like, left a gasp. He was all, uh, what? Okay. What? 
round 34. Yep, Matt Emery says, time to throw up, Jake. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, ba I'm about to. He almost did. And after all that, this bag has to be in by Tony Smith, and it is. I mean, let's do it again. I mean, I'll be, we'll show you this replay all day long. It has to get all three, and he does. Look at the reactions. <laughs> Look at Trzinski. <laughs> Dude. I love it. There's no way. Somebody clip that, put that on Addicted to Cornhole right now. That was freaking nuts. All right. So we got a little too bad clog on the hole. Those are going to go with some slide shots. Uh, Trzinski's going to pu push replace. I mean, after a shot like that, you can't. there's no way you can lose the game, right? I mean, you can't. I mean, <laughs> Trzinski's staying strong. I mean, yeah, he has not missed. This is one of the greatest games I have seen in a very long time. Statistically speaking, shot making speaking, and another double four bagger wash. All right, now it might go 40 rounds. We, we're, we're getting close. We're in round number 36. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen double four bagger washes in thirty-five rounds. Jeez. That's more than a fifty percent rate. Wow. Trey Birchfield and uh Braden Wilson are going to be ice cold. By yeah, the time right. This well, match it's ends. it sucks that this is the first match that we bring you. Yeah, it's going to be so hard to top this. All right, we told you we were starting off with a banger, ladies and gentlemen, and we meant it. Ooh. another one. And we need a DJ Khaled button. Just saying, an another one. <laughs> yeah. I washed my car and came back, and these guys are still playing. <laughs> let's do well. Let's do a peeper check because I mean it's just ridiculous. Krasinski an 11-2-5, 27 four baggers. Tony Smith an 11-1-7 with 24 four baggers. There's a block. A block from Tony Smith makes it a little interesting. Krasinski does a great job getting to the side of it. Yeah, that's that bag's still in play for sure. Tony pushes the pile up. Interesting. Ah, oh, here we go. Do you go airmail or do you go roll? Tony's looking at the Jumbotron behind him. He's going up. Oh, it sits on the back lip. But another airmail would take all those bags. Yeah. So take a timeout and take a look at this shot from Tony. I thought he had it. It sat on the back lip, but that pile moved a lot. So I think Tony may still be set up to score here. If Trzinski goes hard at the pile, you have to assume everything in the hole is going to fall. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know what to do. This is tough. See, he's going to go roll. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. How? <laughs> JT's even smiling over that there. That was perfect. He's like, wow, I hit the most perfect shot Because now Tony has to get a bag in. We're looking at a 6-3 round. If nothing falls, Jacob wins. So the question is, what do you do to get that pile to fall? I don't know. I'm going to say I don't know. I think you have to land on top. I don't think the momentum of a roll will get the force enough force for them to fall. I think you have to go airmail. You have to land on top. And you have to hope for a miracle. Yeah. We're praying. Pray, pray hands in chat. I mean, it would only make sense for him to hit this, right? He's going hard at it, and it oh. knocks in a couple and goes off. That's going to be a 10-5. Corey, the game of the weekend, the game of the month, 
the game of the year. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it takes 37 rounds for Jacob Trzinski to knock off Tony Smith. That was crazy. In one of the wildest games you will ever see. Wake up, Jake. That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're here and everyone's playing today. So. I need a commercial break. We're going to leave you with the replays from this match, and then we're going to take a break. When we come back, Trey Birchfield, Braden Wilson, don't go away. All right, welcome back inside, y'all. The AZ Athletic Grounds in Mesa, Arizona. Uh, I mean, I'm still at a loss for words the last <laughs> match we just saw. Yeah, it was, it was quite, quite the match. Quite Absolutely the match. nuts. And then we get to follow it up with another incredible match. Braden Wilson on your right, Trey Birchfield on your left. Trey Birchfield won doubles yesterday. Looking to, looking to have a pretty solid weekend. Yeah, Trey Birchfield, he's uh, been slinging this year. Yeah. He has, what, won his 10th open 10th double. of all time, yep. Already has three open doubles titles this year. Wow. That's a four spot for Braden Wilson to start things out. Yeah, I, I mean, you can't help but feel sorry for these two for having to follow up this last match that we just watched. Yeah. Freaking nuts, dude. Uh-oh. Four cameras gone. So that's being fun today. There it is. Dang wires. Yep. Um, we saw Braden Wilson and AJ Sims. They made a really good run. They played for the bracket win last night. Yep. Um, unfortunately, they took the first game, but then lost the second game. But shout out to them. They made a good run last night. So it's good to see them coming out here shooting. Well, Wally, you're a little late to the party, brother. Wally in the chat. Wally, you just missed the game of the year. <laughs> game of the freaking year. Wally was, Walter was sleeping. That's fair. You're oh, we in, are on you're one. In one yeah. <laughs> okay. There we go. 
I mean, we're going to have to re-show. We haven't showed that one replay the rest of the day. Nope. That's what chat's saying. Nope. They'll have to tune in to the American Cornhole League no. social media Come page. Come on. When, uh, we can't do that to them. When we, re when we release it later this week. We can't do that to them. Oh, we totally can. We have all the power here. <laughs> So the winner of this is the right side of bracket A. The winner of this will play Logan Dupler, who took down Austin Renard 21 to 5. So His brackets are, I don't know if the brackets are moving along quickly or we just had a really long first game, but these brackets are kind of, kind of moving pretty fast. We just had a really long first game. Yes. <laughs> that was insane. Yes. Woof. All right, so Braden Wilson uh, out to a 4-2 lead here on Trey Birchfield. Open doubles champion, open number 10 doubles champion, and no open number 9 doubles champion, Trey Birchfield. Yep. Good little sneak around right there for Braden. Birchfield pushes that black bag a little closer to the hole. for the collect, pushes one in. It's going to be an 8-8 wash there. So score is going to remain 4-2. to two. Are they using the same bags? No, we have Buffalo Soldier L's versus uh, Titan Bags Talon 2.0s. Trey obviously throwing the Titan Bags and uh, Braden throwing the Buffalo Bags. Did I just hear a boom? I did hear a boom. Where's Hisner? But it wasn't an Adam Hisner boom, though. It was lower pitched. Oh, okay. Adam Hisner is 2-0, though. Boom. And will play either Julius Reyes Jr. or Daniel Martinez. Okay. Trevor Kufis up 18-17 on Jake Gore. That is also in bracket A. See Jackson Remick. Will play either Kevin Meza or Ethan Ferris. Chase Lester has had a heck of a run. Chase Lester took down Gavin Hammond 21 20. Then he just beat Spencer Fabian R 21 9. So his next matchup will be against Levi Haddock, who beat Moses Azueda. Wow, okay. There's some good players to take down right there. Jack Gore currently up 10-3 on Devin Harbaugh. That's a good match. Alex Rawls up 11-zip on Sammy Soto. Man, we saw Sammy Soto throwing gas yesterday. Kind of cooled off in the upper part of the brackets, but before that, we had w one of our best doubles matches yesterday yeah. with him and Jack Gore. For sure. Doug Zaft up 12-2 on Gavin Cano. A little bit of a surprise there. All right, I think that's two points for Trey right there. So Braden Wilson jumping out to an early lead here, yep. nine to four. They look like the same bag. I, I guess. Will, yep. Look, I, yeah, Go I'll make it. you guys a deal. If Ethan Ferris wins his game, I will put him on next. I will put his next match on the broadcast board. Currently up fifteen to ten. Oh, it's him. Okay, him's always asking for the sailor person, or I forget. Birchfield going after it, misses it off the back. This could be five more for Braden Wilson. And it is. Wow. The next match after this has been confirmed. We see Braden Wilson. We're going to see his pro doubles partner, A.J. Sims versus Logan Chamberlain. Coming up next on the broadcast court, let your friends know. Texas v. Texas. All right. Braden Wilson taking a commanding lead in this game. Ten up by 10, 14 to 4. All right. That 
bag on the back might move back. Let's see if it moves any with this bag. Now, Brayden just elects to sneak it in. I don't think you play too aggressively here. He's actually thinking about it. I mean, up 14 to 4, you have some leeway to work with here. Yeah. He's going up. Oh. And he hits it, Braden oh. Wilson. All right, never mind. Braden Wilson is like, I can play aggressive. I can be like Tony Smith. I can hit those shots. Braden's feeling it already this morning. I tell you what, I love this kid. Not only is he such a great Cornell player for being a young kid, he's also probably one of the most polite and well-taught kids I've ever met in my life. Yeah. Very shout nice. out to Shout out to Braden Wilson's parents for raising him right. There we go. Trey doesn't collect that bag. This could be more points for Oh, Braden. it's a perfect bag. That's better than in by Braden. Better than in. Birchfield with a nice roll. That's a good shot by him. Mm -hmm. Slick side down for Braden and another four-bagger. Birchfield gives up two more. It's 16-4. to four. Braden Wilson came to play today. Had his Wheaties this morning, and here's, he's here feeling it. Braden Wilson throwing a 10-6-7, which seems minuscule compared to the last game we had. A 9-3-3 for Birchfield. Shout out Gavin Green. It's that Wilson last name. All right, all right, calm down, Alex. <laughs> how old is Braden? Do you know how old Braden is? I believe he's 13 Third, or 14. Yeah, uh, young. Nice backside airmail. Birchfield answers of his own. Wilson now goes roll, and he hits that one, too. I actually think he's, like, 11. Do you think so? Oh, no. Birchfield off the back. This could be big for Braden if he goes in here. He oh. does. Birchfield has to get a bag in the hole, and he does. Who? Oh. That's going to be three more. Braden Wilson on 19. He is walking away with this one. Yeah, putting in work on... Trey Birchfield over here. Braden is 12. Braden's 12. Good God. Lay in the block. He's going to make Trey work for it. I've met adults with worse manners than Braden Wilson. <laughs> 100%. This kid's awesome. Okay. Trey could score on this round. But oh, but not with shots like that. Braden's bag falls. And now Trey's lane is compromised. Braden going to step out. Shouldn't have a problem. Hmm. That's a hard roll for Trey. That's why he's going to go push. He bars soaps Braden's bag. He should be set up pretty well here. Slide in for a couple of points. Oh, oh my. Up on him. How does that not fall? I don't know. It ends up being a wash. It will stay 19 to 4. All right. Trey can't make any mistakes here. But that's a good bag right there. Kind of puts Braden's bag in a tough position. It's tough collect. I like it. This is going to force Braden into a hard shot here. Ah, doesn't get all the way over. Yeah, not enough momentum on that bag to roll over that giant pile. Trey's just going to, we're going to stack bags over here. I would have liked a backside airmail, but now he's going to play conservative. Trey going to go up, oh. and his rims out again. Another tough break for Birchfield. It will stay. 19 to 4. I like it though. Trey's been hitting those shots, those backside airmails with barely any room. He hit a couple of them in San Diego. If you, uh, you know, it was on the top 10 of 
for, uh, shots from San Diego on around the ACL. So don't forget to check that out on Thursdays. I mean, I'm excited to see the top ten shots from this weekend. There's so many good shots. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I think we know what number one is going to be unless <laughs> something else happens. I know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Shout out Wesley Hartzell. That dude's a dog. Jake, I'll get you in on that one. We can both decide. All right. Have a consensus. Braden going to follow in. That's not terrible. Trey can go slick side, collect them all for a couple of points. And he does. Good bag right there. Gets him off four. Who are you, Charles Barkley? That's not terrible. What? It was like a Doritos commercial or something. He's all, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. <laughs> Tony Mayball didn't see the Tony Smith shot everyone is talking. Don't worry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab the mouse from Corey, and I'm going to show you that plenty of times the rest of the day. <laughs> I love it. Nick says, my kid is 11. I, I thought he was good. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Brayden is insane. <laughs> oh, that board, that puck. Yeah. We need oh, to fix yeah. That. We'll need to. I'm surprised they haven't fixed it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you want to go fix that after this? Yeah. One? I was like, man, that board is crooked. Did the camera get moved? Yeah. No, it's the actual board. I'm surprised they haven't said anything. Uh, social double four bagger wash. Y'all wait till I'll go. Um, when this round is in, uh, when they walk away down okay. the other side, they'll fix it right now. Oh, never mind. Trace fixing it. Okay. Cool. Good on him. Got a little wild there. Who ended up winning the Tony Smith game? Uh, Jacob Trzinski did. Your phone died. Plug, <laughs> plug your phone in, Ronnie. Come on. You're letting your phone die while you're watching the stream. Oh, I thought Connor was sitting right over there. I was like, well, Connor's doing good. He's just chilling. Oh, nice push through from Trey. Gavin was losing last time I saw. Let's see if I can find him. Social. Trey Burfield not going down without a fight. I like people in the chat that comment their own name is watching. Like Mark Butters. He's all, Mark Butters is watching. It's good. Gavin Cano currently tied 14-14 with Doug Zaft. Devin Harbaugh up 18-16 on Jack Gore. All right, Trey, he's going to try and get around it. No, hits it a little too left on the roll shot. This could spell the end for Birchfield. He's going to need to make something happen. Stepping out, slick side down, hard at the pile, and blows it off the back. This is big time for Braden Wilson. And oh. he side rails it. Oh, no. He had it. Yeah, I mean, this is next two bags in hand for the win. <laughs> He's over there just laughing at himself. He's like, yeah, I know. Birchfield sits behind an airmail or roll. Anything in the hole will get you a win. He's going up, and he hits the airmail clean. And that is going to do it. Braden Wilson takes down Trey Birchfield. Not 21 to 6. Congrats to him. Birchfield will move to the loser's bracket. All right, y'all. Gonna take another quick commercial break. When we come back, AJ Sims, Logan Chamberlain, stay right there.
right, welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. AZ Athletic Grounds in Mesa, Arizona. It's Sunday Singles. Single Sunday. We saw AJ Sims pro partner take the dub against Trey Birchfield. And now he's gonna try to do the same against Logan Chamberlain. The open number eight singles champion in Bryan, Texas. It is a little crazy. Logan Chamberlain won open number eight. His pro partner won open number nine. So what does that mean is gonna happen for open number 10? Who knows? Who knows? Jake Brandon alongside Corey Russell bringing you coverage all weekend. We really hope you had some fun. I know we have. Oh yeah. A lot of great cornhole action. Nowhere else I'd rather be than Mesa, Arizona. Yeah, we. it's been great. Had some great games yesterday. Already started out with two great games. <sighs> this is going to be fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. And if you're just tuning in, welcome in, welcome in. Make sure you uh, grab all those devices, whatever, your phone, your tablet, your television, your smart TV, your smart fridge, and tune them all in to either YouTube, Facebook, or ACLCornhole.tv for the American Cornhole League. All right, two Texas boys here. Whoa. Logan Chamberlain, AJ Sims. Both throwing, or throwing BGs and then AJ Sims throwing Buffalo bags. I don't know which ones he's throwing. He's probably throwing the Soldier L's too, but not positive. I would assume so. Sorry, I'm looking through brackets trying to figure out what we're what we're bringing next to you. All right. Let us know what you're doing on this beautiful Sunday. Yeah, what's going on? Are you guys barbecuing? It's just the weather's so nice here, and it's probably just crappy everywhere else in yeah, the United see. States. It is uh, it is 41 degrees back home in Pasadena, Maryland. Okay, that's not terrible. Let's check out Orville, California. It is 56, so it's a little better. Yeah, that's fine. It's not bad. Social. Here in Arizona, it is, what, 70-something already? Probably. 68. 68. With a high of 82. 82? Yep. Oh, my goodness. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, Arizona is warm. We're smoking brisket. There we go. Jared, you can bring some down to the Arizona Athletic Grounds after you're done smoking it if you want. Bring it to the live stream court. All right. It has been confirmed. So my YouTube chat can shut up. The next match we're bringing you, Ethan Ferris, Jackson Remick. Okay. Bracket B. There we go. Been seeing a lot of those Another Colorado social. boys this, uh, this yeah. weekend. Putting themselves in the limelight, you know. AJ Sims, oh gosh, don't want to say it, never mind. Yeah. It's very familiar to the start of the first game we had, though, between Jacob Draczynski and Tony Smith. Yeah. And, yeah, both these guys can play the bag running game. Yeah. I would say that Logan Chamberlain probably has a better dirty roll cut kind of game, but AJ has that game, too. Oh, first miss by either player. Sims can go in for two, and he will. All right, don't forget to check out our sponsors of the weekend, ladies and gentlemen. we got LogicCornhole.com and Brotherhood Cornhole bringing you the live streams all weekend long. So make sure you go check them out either on their Facebook or websites and go buy some bags, go buy some apparel. Show your support. I think I'm going to head over to the brother, Brotherhood Cornhole Tent here soon and uh, pick me up a shirt or something. 
Oh, the board. There we go. Yep. Get me one. Ultra is here. We got like a vendor alley going yeah, on a at whole, this event. A whole bunch of them. Mm -hmm. It's pretty sweet. This, this is interesting. What does AJ want to do here? To, I assume he's not thinking about the perfect game. That's a great cut around for the 10. Does Let's Logan collect it for him? Oh, oh we almost did. They kind of just bunch up. It is going to be two more for AJ, though. I was like, is, Le is Logan going to show him that Texas hospitality <laughs> and keep him going on the perfect game? That is going to drop AJ's PPR down to an abysmal 11-6-7. <laughs> abysmal. Good word choice. Now, fun fact, when I was in the eighth grade, I won a spelling bee using the word abysmal to win it. Oh, okay. I was the only one playing, but I still won it. A-B-Y-S-M-A-L, baby. Sounds like some tough competition. I won a $25 gift card to Applebee's. Wow. That's awesome. AJ sitting by, oh, he tried to sit behind, missed left. Logan looking at the big screen behind him, seeing what he wants to do here. Going hard at the pile. Oh, what a bag. <laughs> Logan Chamberlain getting himself on the board. Oh, no, there's a wash, excuse me. Yeah, beautiful collect for a wash. to zero, AJ Sims. Already round number eight. Hey, Tony Mabel on the chat. What's up, Tony? Oh, Tony, I mean, uh, Logan, excuse me, misses right. Gives up two more, make it six nothing. How cool would it be to see AJ Simmons make a deep run in the bracket, man? He's been playing Cornell for so long, and he's also one of the nicest dudes in Cornell, too. Oh, yeah. Would be awesome to see him make a deep run. One of the OGs. You're saying that again. He's been playing Cornell since 1994. Wow. How about Hayden Gonzalez? Taking down Noah Almanza, 21 to nine. He's still alive in the winner's bracket. Saw a good run from Hayden Gonzalez in Hamilton, Ohio it was. Yep. Yeah. Double dip Joe Neistead to win his bracket. Watch out for the Pacific Northwest. Oh, yeah. They're coming. The winner of this match will play Fisher Hamilton, who beat Caleb Maldinka, 21-12. All the players on the live stream court are now utilizing the Jumbotron to the max. Oh. oh! Logan slick side down, hugging that right side. Oh, I mean, he hit the shot perfectly. They just clog, and he's going to give up another point. He did. He did hit that pretty perfectly. I mean, yeah, there's not much else you could have done. Mm -hmm. Just an unlucky break there. Logan Dupler up 11-7 on Braden Wilson right now. The winner of that gets Ryan Smith. Dupler and Wilson playing a game. Two of the probably smaller, smallest yes. cornhole players here. It's a throwback <laughs> to open number four in Tiverton, Rhode Island, junior singles. Logan Dupler double dips Braden Wilson to take the junior singles title. So Logan, uh, excuse me, Braden rather trying to look for some revenge. What's the score on the Justin Burton Jr. game? Ooh, one falls for Logan. Justin Burton Jr. currently up 20 to nine on Jacob Trzinski. Oh. Logan throws it off the board. I think he went to clip it and knock it in, but. Yep. <laughs> I actually think the players being able to see what the board light is like on the Jumbotron might sway some shots a little like oh yeah for sure 
you know, they might go for some weird shots that, I mean, regularly he probably would have went roll or airmail there. I'm not sure. But ladies and gentlemen, if you want to come on down to the AZ Athletic Grounds and just watch the Jumbotron, it's sick. <laughs> right? I'll put you up there on the, on the Jumbotron. We'll get the camera on you. Every time Logan or AJ looks back, that's what they're looking at. Logan goes airmail off the back. I mean, he's just not hitting the shots right now. Yeah. See if AJ goes roll. He's going up, and he oh. misses off the back. 5-2 as the round sits right now. I mean, I like a short airmail to try to rodeo everything in. I think that's what he tried to do as well. Knocks in his bag, goes off, gives up another point. Five on four. Nine, zero. Oh, well, we almost got, we got 3,600 in TikTok. Wow, shout out TikTok. You guys are the goats. And it looks like Facebook's actually beating YouTube. Nope, YouTube took the lead back. <laughs> Facebook was popping this morning, but now YouTube's back in the lead. I mean, with the game that we started off with, I mean, everybody in the cornhole world was watching that. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, they better should, they better have. Because if they didn't, they missed something spectacular. I mean, I mean, that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm, I'm going to go lay in bed in the hotel room, just rewatch that entire game. It was so nuts. Uh huh. So nuts. Logan in for two, and Logan Chamberlain is on the board. 9-2. How many rounds? The rounds are in uh, that on your screen on TikTok. It's the blue square on the very left of your screen. That's what round they're in. So 13. There you go. There you go, Levi. Excuse me. Ooh. Ooh, AJ bullied his own bag out of the way. Logan, a four-bagger, guaranteed two more. And that's what it will be, a 9-4 lead. Chat, Phil King's gambit in. Yeah, right. Levi, that's I mean that's exactly what I what I do too when I watch opens. I'll put the I'll put YouTube on the big screen, on the, on the TV, and then if I need to comment or make fun of somebody, I'll just use Facebook on my phone. Jake, you do have the power to where when you're not at the opens, you can use this and watch both chats at the same time. That is true. That is true. I, I never really think about it though because I'm not like really I don't really use my laptop when I'm just sitting on the couch a lot. Uh, okay, got it. I may have to start using it. That's smart. It's smart. Mm -hmm. Nice rollover. Logan is starting to get some momentum back, even though he has two bags on that right side. Oh, and AJ can't get the push. I like a back block here. No, he goes roll. Ooh. That's fine, too. You sit in the hole. It makes this push that much more difficult. Go, But oh. AJ Sims. <laughs> And that's the only reason why I would have preferred a back block over a roll. Yeah. Because he has the ability to do something like this. Just slings it at it. Picks up four, stops the Logan Chamberlain momentum dead in its tracks, and it's now 13 to four. Somebody in TikTok asked if we could see the TikTok comments. I, I can't, can you? What? So, <laughs> perfect answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I thought I misinterpreted what you said. AJ Sim stepping out, has that lane. Oh, he does it again. He's so good with these push shots. Logan in to limit it to two, and that one falls in. Replay after replay of A.J. Sims hitting tough push shots. Yeah, that was a beautiful shot. This is the A.J. Sims I want to see in April. 
This is the AJ Sims I want to see at the first pro event. And the Braden Wilson. Yes. They're playing hot this weekend. They're playing up to what we thought they would be playing, you know? They had kind of a slow start to the season, so it's good to see them in form this weekend here in Arizona. Logan Dupler currently up 16 to 9 on Braden Wilson right now. Okay, look who's entered the stands. It's uh, Gavino Delgado. Hey, we got to give him a shout out because it's his birthday today. Is it really? Yeah. His son is wearing a Pittsburgh Steelers hat for some reason, which is not the greatest. Jake immediately to see the football swag. <laughs> An update in the JBJ and Trzinski game. It is now 20 to 16. Justin Burton Jr. out in front. We want a PPR check, Jake. AJ Sims, a 10-2-5. Logan Chamberlain, a 9-4-4. 17 to 4. If Logan Dupler keeps winning, yeah, I, if, if Logan Dupler wins this next match, uh, if, if Logan Dupler beats Braden Wilson, he's going to be playing Ryan Smith. That would be a good match. I want to see if I can get that on the broadcast. Jay, yes. I mean, there are lots of Tonys here, but I'm sure you mean Tony Smith. Yes, Tony Smith is here. One for AJ because Logan Chamberlain has one off the board. So put AJ Sims on 18. 18 to 4 here. AJ Sims staying hot on his side. Not Logan Cha not letting Logan Chamberlain get back into this match. Yep, first to 21. Bag on the board is one, bag in the hole is three, and it's cancellation scoring. And the boards are 27 feet apart, front to front. Oh, that is a picture. Perfect bar of soap by Logan Chamberlain. Then he's upset. He's <laughs> like, I can hit that bar of soap, then I can't hit a normal slide shot. Logan, oh, he cannot capitalize and score a point. But take a look at this bag from Chamberlain. Picture perfect. That TikTok angle was fun on that. That was a dart. All right, so we're going to take a wash on that one. 18 to 4. Logan Chamberlain trying his hardest, just can't generate any points. Yeah, you can go over 21. It's just whoever hits the number 21 first wins. AJ being aggressive, going for the air mail. Holes wide open, so I do like that shot. Ooh. AJ wanted that to go in. It just kind of sits up on his other bag there. It's going to force Logan into something. Ah. Yeah, it's going to be a wash, right? Yep. yep. Or, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Which Buffalo bags? I am not positive. If chat wants to help us out with that, uh, please let us know. Brian, because he's too busy playing golf. He's too busy having a good time. He was in chat earlier. Why don't you ask him? <laughs> All right, Logan's taking the time out. Probably just to get his head back in the game. He's been, he's upset at himself just because he's been missing some shots that he usually makes. So we're going to go down, take a drink, collect ourselves. 
AJ is going to disappear. Okay. I trust Dylan Turpin. He's throwing the board. Buffalo Soldiers. Board. 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 <laughs> board. <laughs> Back block, here we go. Airmail, clean. <laughs> Logan was like, whoa. AJ, <laughs> that backside. Button. Gotta get that reaction. Logan does it again, only gets two. There's the reaction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 18 to 6. He's all, huh? Have you seen all of the BG sponsored players making their posts about the BG drought tonight? They all like have hand drawn signs saying something about buy the BG fourth anniversary drop or something, something, uh, okay, something, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Some of them are pretty funny. Sam Finley took a picture of hers and hers says, please buy the fourth anniversary drop at seven or Rich and Graham will leave me in Canada. That's pretty <laughs> funny. Like uh, Colby Shearer had one up earlier and said, buy the drop or they won't let me drink any more Mountain Dew. Oh, no. It's pretty funny. The Dew. These two definitely don't like each other. Is that the vibes you're getting, Corey? Uh, yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, these 100%. two are having um, a little bit of a rivalry, really. I haven't really, I haven't really paid much attention to it, but yeah, they're not saying anything to each other. They're both just, you know, in their zone. They must the be. Yeah, they must be. A, I guess with them playing each other a lot, they want to like beating each other. <laughs> yep. Both Texas. AJ, it's not a not the end of the world. He kind of flops on top of Logan's bag. Logan has a bar of soap opportunity. And oh. he does. What a bag. Great shot from Logan right there. It's his second bar of soap of the game. And that's a four spot. All right. Logan crawling back into this match. Beautifully done. Slick side down, pushing AJ's bag out of the hole. All right, they're homies. They're just highly competitive. That's what I thought. I assumed they were all right. What is a bar of soap? Uh, you just witnessed it. Yeah, bar of soap is when there is a bag on top of another bag. So you throw a slick side bag really hard at the pile and uh, push the bag that's on top up over the hole. Yep. AJ's, uh, AJ's starting to... Simmer down a little bit. Another four bagger for Logan. Make it 18 14. All of a sudden, it's a four point game. Logan Dupler has finished off Braden Wilson. All right. So, so it will be Logan Dupler versus Ryan Smith. Braden Wilson not eliminated, just down to the lower side of the bracket. Jason, if you want an update on the JBJ game, you can uh, download the ACL Fan Zone app and search for Justin Burton Jr. Yeah, he is sitting right behind Logan Chamberlain. Oh no, it's another two points. But just because I'm feeling nice, Justin Burton Jr. did beat Trzinski 21 to 18. I believe AJ gave Lur Logan his very first set of bags. So they've known each other for a long time. They're just competitive. Yeah. All right, AJ's gonna have to tighten it up here. He let Logan Chamberlain right back in this yeah. match. Ooh, Logan misses right. This could be the opportunity. Good shot. Good push through. In to put himself on 20 here. Oh, no. He cannot. Wow. 
Wow, that, that miss hurts. Logan in the midst of a 12-0 run right now. It was 18-4, now 18-16. A.J. Sims still throwing a 9-6-4. Logan Chamberlain a 9-5-6. Welcome, Jason. Another bag off to that left side, out of play for A.J. Sims. We are looking at a tie bag game. And of course, as soon as I say that, Logan gives it back. This is in to wash out the round. And it is. I mean, there's a lot of pressure on every shot now. This is the first round in, since round 19. Nope, that's not right. That can't be right. Never mind. Disregard what I was trying to say. Stats, stats, stats. I'm trying. Stats. I can't look at stats. I'm not going to stats. <laughs> anyway. Ooh, low block from AJ right there. Logan has no problem going around it. AJ slick side down. It's not the end of the world. They're both still in play. Logan helps bring that one back in. I can't believe that's still up. I thought that was going to fall. It's barely hanging on. If you blow on it, it'll fall in. <laughs> yeah. AJ. Oh, no. Uh-oh. They kind of plug. Logan's taking a timeout. That was worst case scenario for AJ Sims. That's looking like a three wide plug. Do you, you back block this? Kind oh, of yeah, try, and, sure. try and jam yeah, it you, up a you, little. Yeah, you back block. AJ has to get a bag in the hole. Yeah, definitely try to push it up and jam him a little bit. No, he's going to go roll. Not the end of the, it's not the end of the world. AJ has to get a bag in the hole. You also cannot throw it off. This is tough. You could lose the game right here if you miss it. No, man, this is this is this would hurt if you're AJ Sims if you lose the game on this round. Yeah. You were up all game long. Never trailed. Going step out. You think a step out push? Interesting. Going hard at it. He oh. misses it off the back. And that is a seven spot for the game. AJ Logan Sims Chamberlain. Upset never led this game until the very last round of the game. Wow. Tough break for A.J. Sims. He will go to the loser's bracket. Nice come from behind win for Logan Chamberlain. All right, let's take another quick commercial break. When we come back, more coverage. Jackson Remick back on the court. You're not going to want to miss it.
What is going on, everybody? Welcome back inside the AZ Athletic Grounds here in Mesa, Arizona. As we continue coverage, ACL Open number 10, Single Sunday. Oh, yeah. I'm we got one of the Colorado boys who have made a big run the past few weeks going up against a Logic-sponsored player, Ethan Farias. All right. I have never seen Ethan throw, so this should be a fun match to watch. Where did he get that shirt? I've never seen that shirt before. I want it. So the Ethan's back, Ethan's shirt? Yeah. yeah. They're selling them at the ACL tent right now. Oh. Well, looks like I got to go to the ACL tent and pick me up one. Or go to shop.iplayacl.com and pick myself up one there as well. You know what I need to do is <laughs> I need to buy my family some ACL gear. Yeah, you do. Because I realize every time I'm like, I should buy my parents a sweater so that they can support the American Cornhole League as well. Show it off to their friends. Hey, look at my son's cool. He he does all this broadcasting stuff for the American Cornhole League, and that's awesome. <laughs> All right, chat, you're going to have to update us here. Uh, where's Ethan from? Unless Jake knows. I have no idea. Okay. And how old is he? He looks like a very young kid. I'm going to guess 27. I'm going to go with the under on that one. All right. That's, that's your bet, man. It's your money you're losing. <laughs> that's a four-bagger for Ethan. And a couple of points to start things off. Okay, he's from SoCal. Oh, we <laughs> That's right. Okay. So you've played against him before. Yes. Come on. At 2 a.m. In, in the hotel lobby. That sounds like fun. It was fun. Bowmount, California, and he's 13. Okay. Or you, Yucapa, California. Got it. Thank you, chat. 24 was in the chat. What up? So I've lost to this kid. Well, you didn't beat him? No. Oh, come on. Heck no. <laughs> Nick was thrown against him, so Nick lost to him. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> How do you get the brackets? You can check them out on the ACL Fan Zone app. You can also go to iplaycornhole.com, click on the News tab, and then click on the Open 10 Brackets section. Nice rollover from Jackson. That bag sits on the back lip. Oh, doesn't quite get the rollover. Oh, Jackson's taking an early timeout here. Just going to go take a peek, see how much of the hole is open. It's pretty open, so I don't, I think he'll probably go roll here, but, you know, airmail is viable as well. What up, Angel? Angel Camarena in the chat. I like it. Maybe not. Maybe, yeah, yeah roll is probably your better option here. Yukaipa, Yukaipa, California. 6-6 six, six wash. It'll stay 2 nothing. Well, I'll take it. He's a California kid, so do you know what? I get to be a little biased. There you go. <laughs> and I also get to be a little biased, too, because he's a Logic Cornhole player. So go check them out, logiccornhole.com. All right, so let's take you through this. There are eight players still alive in the winner's bracket of each bracket. I'm going to take you through this once and only once. Bracket A, Trevor Kufis, Justin Burton Jr., Julius Reyes Jr., Adam Hisner, Logan Dupler, Ryan Smith, Ruben Snyder, Elijah Apodaca, Peters Zueda, Adrian Brunson, Rosie Streaker, Hayden Gonzalez. Jackson Remick, Ethan Farias, Chase Lester, Levi Haddock, Nate Voyer, Blaine Frericks, Logan Chamberlain, Fisher Hamilton, Derek Holland, Alex Rawls, Alec Ryan, Devin Harbaugh, Dave Sutton, Hunter Thorson, Richard Nyberg, Ralph Swan, Eddie Grindersleeve, Matt Allen, Gavin Cano, Carson Getty. That's everybody still alive in the winner's bracket. And that's right. another two points for Emacs. Man, chat's on me about the pronunciation. You go up for it, Jake. On who? 
about Ethan? the Yukapa. Oh, Yukaipa. 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 Yukaipa, California. <laughs> you Kai Pa. There we go. Pa. It's Pa. You Kai Pa. You Kai Pa. There we go. Nailed it. Yes. What about Caleb Batson? Well, if you didn't, if I didn't say his name, that means he is in the losers bracket. Yep. Got to listen. Jake's only saying it once. Or you got to, or you have to download that ACL Fan Zone app so you can check out the brackets yourself. Yep. I guess there's some basketball players here. Young kids watching along, they're in awe. Got kids their age are slinging bean bags like this. Yep. Oh, they're sitting down. They're joining the bleachers. Four bagger for Emacs. Social. I can't get the basketball players on camera. All right, so Ethan up 4-0 on Jackson Remick. We saw Team Hammock make a good run. They uh, won their bracket last night, but got taken out in the semifinals. So they, Team Hammock's been playing pretty hot lately. They've been oh, all yeah. up. They've been all in the news and everything. Even that national-wide yeah. news. Yeah, I was I was a little worried that the news would start to get to them and they would kind of take them off their game, but mm -hmm. it has done the exact opposite. It has propelled them. Yeah. But you know you can uh, you can never remember. You can never forget what happened to Jackson Remick in advanced singles at the World Championships. He finished third in his advanced singles bracket. Do you know who put him in the loser's bracket? Who put him in the loser's bracket, Corey? Let's hear it. I did. <laughs> Me. And then he lost to Ty Thompson to get back to the uh, championship game. Yeah, we know, we know. Shout out this kid, but yeah, he has he has gotten a lot better than I have these past few months. So I will say that. Oh no, bad luck is that was an opportunity to score. He could not capitalize. It will stay 4-0. It has been confirmed. Our next match we will be bringing you will be Adam Hisner versus Julius Reyes Jr. Look at that, logic after logic, cornhole players. Where are all the Brotherhood cornhole players at? I don't know. How old are Jackson and Gavin? 17? Yeah, seniors in high school, so whatever that age is. Yeah, 17 slash 18. Good push through. Leaks it off to the left there. All right, this looks like it could put Jackson on the board here. Yeah, Ethan's just going to go in. In for points. No. And he cannot. <laughs> Another round where Jackson had a chance to score and cannot do it. Okay, these kids are making the boards look like they slowed down a little. Yes. Jackson just having the fourth bag problems here. Can't get that fourth bag in the hole. Why is our stream getting flagged? That's weird. What'd you do? I don't know. Everyone be nice in chat. Jake, just be nice. Be nice to me. That's why it's getting flagged. Oh, man. All right. This isn't live? Nope, it isn't. It's a replay. Well, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is 100% live. Coming at you from Arizona Mesa, Arizona. One of Ethan's bags hits the dead spot. That is out of play. Could this be the opportunity Gavin uh, Jackson rather needs to get on the board? I don't know. I'm not going to say yes until I see it. 
Can he do it? Oh my gosh, it happened again. Three straight rounds. Jackson Remick had a bag in hand to score, and he cannot put it in. Wow. It's, it's nobody's fault but his own. And he's even, he, he had a good laugh at himself after that shot. I mean, that's all you can do but laugh. I mean, it's, just, it's comical. We mentioned about the bad gods yesterday. Uh -huh. They are just playing jokes with Jackson Remick right now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they show you the grace, just like they were Jake Brennan on Friday night. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they take it away. Uh, when are all the Super Bowls going to happen? I'm not sure, Marty. Here we go again. Fourth straight round. Bag in hand for points for Jackson Remick. He goes rolling this time. He's able to get it in and get on the board. He's done it, ladies and gentlemen. All it took was a roll. No regular slide shot? No way. Let me have to roll over a bag to score a point. <laughs> I know. you got to make it more difficult for him. He loves the challenge. <laughs> Here we go in TikTok. The user, wasting time, comments, why am I watching this? Because <laughs> you're just wasting time, man. <laughs> yep. And you're wasting it in the most proper of ways. So thanks for being here. And thank you to everyone else that is tuned in right now. Make sure you uh, show us some love by hitting that like button on the stream, wherever you're watching, YouTube, Facebook. Oh, man. Ethan went for the push, missed it left. Jackson slick side down, going to try to collect. And that's as they're, good as in. Yeah, yeah they're going. There they go. Yep. All right. Yeah, let's see if Gavin can. Jack, keep calling me Gavin. Let's see if Jackson can sneak around. No. This is a difficult shot for Ethan if he wants to collect that bag. Slick side down. No, it sits up. And now it's Ethan with the bad luck. And we are tied at four. It's fun, these uh, younger gentlemen over here that are coming from the basketball match, they're getting into it. They're like, they are. They're like oh, when he missed that shot. Fun to see. Yeah, that fourth bag for Jackson is be not being his friend this match. I don't know, Tyler, can we? That's Jake's decision. Hey, Heather Pierce. Huh? No, nah, nothing. Heather Pierce is in the chat. Hello, Heather. Good to see you again. Thanks for being here all weekend. I don't even want to begin to explain what type of complex this tournament is being held in. It's it's wild. <laughs> it is a ginormous, huge sports complex. All sorts of sports. Basketball, volleyball, beach volleyball, 32 soccer fields. There's a ginormous pickleball tournament going on. Uh, there's softball fields, baseball fields. Um, what is it there? Nice there? airmail. Yeah, I looked it. I looked it up. It's like, oh man. Just from looking at a map, you have you have 32 full-size soccer fields, four baseball fields, four softball fields, 27 beach volleyball courts, and then 37 pickleball courts. And that's just the outdoor venues. Mm -hmm. You have you have probably a crap ton of basketball courts. Yeah. Indoor, other arenas, it's nuts. The place is nuts. Yeah, it's huge. And they have they even have restaurants and like food vendors yeah. and coffee shops and it's like its own little city here. Who won doubles last night? That would be Trey Birchfield and the man you will see next, Adam Hisner.
This is the Arizona Athletic Grounds in Mesa, Arizona. Formerly known as the Legacy they got a Panda Sports Express Center. Here? Do they? Uh, that guy just walked in with Panda Express. <laughs> have to go I, I wouldn't doubt it. In for the wash, slick side down, not even messing with that sticky side. Maybe Ooh. he should have. Maybe he should have went sticky. I think if this place just had a gas station, maybe a convenience mart, it would be, you know, your all-in-one Yep, you'd never need to leave. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. If you're just tuning in, thanks for joining us on this beautiful Sunday. We got open singles for you up today. And it's the last day of the Mesa, Arizona, open number 10. So sad that it's the last day. Oh, yeah. We've been having a great time. And we rolled into Sunday just keeping that energy up with our first match. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see a great match, don't forget to, when this stream is over, rewatch the video and go watch the first match we played this morning. It was a doozy. Slick side down for Remick. Gets oh. them all. What a bag and a little bit of a bar of soap. Not a bar of soap, a bully. Yeah, I like it. Uh, what just do? happened? What did you do? Did I press the button? Yeah, uh, something happened. I don't know. Okay, weird. Let's take a look at the replay. <laughs> Three back collect for Jackson Remick. I like it. Um, that, the button that says play replay on yep. your, will you hit that? Like, fr like press the actual button? No, tap the screen. Okay, that's what does oh, it. Oh, I didn't know that was a touch screen. I will fix that. Yes, it is. Huh. Ten eight game. Two point deficit. See so look, Jake, troubleshooting. Crazy. can hit a little cut shot, put some pressure on Ethan. No, he's going airmail, lands short, knocks in one of each. Ethan cut around for two. Oh. No, it just stops dead in its tracks. An unlucky break there. Throws the first one too hard, and then the second one just doesn't have enough momentum to get there. Justin Burton Jr. up 20 to 11 on Trevor Kufis. Logan Dupler up 20 to 14 on Ryan Smith. Ruben Snyder already in the semifinals. How about that? Ruben Snyder, nice. Levi Haddock has already taken down Chase Lester, so the winner of this match will play him. Hayden Gonzalez takes down Rosie Streaker, so he will play either Peter Zizueta or Adrian Brunson. Alex Rawls takes down Derek Holland, so he will play either Alec Ryan or Devin Harbaugh. How about Alec Ryan up 19 to 8 right now on Harbaugh? Wow. Nate Voyer up 20 to 17 on Blaine Frerick. Whoever wins that will play either Fisher Hamilton or Logan Chamberlain. That kind of sucks for AJ. I see him over there playing, and guess what? He's got to play another Texas guy. Yep. So it's like, I mean, the Texas people, they come out, and they're all friends, and they hang out. It's just, you know, when you come to play, and then you got to play all the people you play all the time. 
And how about Matt Allen taking down Eddie Grindersleeve, 21 to eight. Oh, so wow. he will play Gavin Cano. And then Hunter Thorson awaits either Richard Nyberg or Ralph Swan. Nyberg up 19 zip. What happened to Eddie and Caleb yesterday? I don't know. I mean, they finished third in their bracket. Okay, that's not terrible. But still, from seeing them yesterday at the game we had on the live stream car, I thought they were going to go far. Oh, yeah. Good cut around. Stephanie Soto in the chat. What's up, Stephanie? All right, looking like a clean round this time. Yeah, this is another long game. We're going into round 16. They only have 10 points each on the board. And we're going to keep it that way. That's the first clean round we've seen uh, in a while. It's been a pretty dirty game. Yes, very dirty. Let's uh, check PPRs while we're at it. Jackson Remick currently throwing a 927. Want to guess what Ethan's throwing? Hmm. 926. Oh, so close, but wrong. Dang. Um, just uh, Nate Boyer. As far as I see, I don't know where Spencer Fabianar is. Or, or Adrian Brunson's still in it, too. Yep, yep. Yeah. I don't know where anyone else is. Maybe if I downloaded the ACL Fan Zone app, I could check. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, I already have it downloaded. How about Logan Dupler knocking off? Ryan Smith. So he will be facing Ruben Snyder with a chance to get to the King Seed game. Another fourth back miss for Jackson. Oh, oh, but Ethan gives it back. Gives up three. All right, so there's some movement on the scoreboard right there. 13 to 10. Jackson Remick takes the lead. Number 10 game zones. Let's check it out. Oh, I can search by player too. Let's search up Spencer. Oh, Remick with a short bag. This is a big opportunity for Ethan Farius. My bad. Oh no. Another bag miss left for Jackson. I think that one is going to fall. He's going to take a timeout. The round is 9 2. What do you do if you're Jackson to minimize damage? Do you go for an airmail? If you go for an airmail and miss, you're giving up 10. 10? Oh my goodness. You're going to get, assuming that Ethan makes his last bag, you're 100% giving up at least five. Yes. That's still a huge round. Okay, yeah, Spencer Fabianar is in lower bracket of bracket B. Yep. All right. He's taking, he's taking his time on this. Tough decision. He's in a hard, between a rock and a hard yeah, place right now. Yeah, he's definitely using all 60 seconds of this timeout. Uh huh. Christian says just minimize damage, Jackson. Yeah, you have to. You have to. Don't worry about those two bags. But the way, I don't know, I think he's thinking about going up. 
That's a tough collect. This is a really tough collect. He's going up. Oh, he's very lucky that bag fell in. This is in for seven for Ethan. Book it. Big time lead change, big time momentum swing. It's now 17-13 in favor of the SoCal kid. Yeah, Ethan throws fast side just to make sure that bag goes in and he collects the seven points. What bracket is this? This is bracket B. Yes. Four singles brackets here in Mesa, Arizona. Absolutely stacked singles brackets, I should say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> big facts. Jackson can forget about that last round. Just, I'm sure he's just going to put all the bags in the hole this, this round. Wow, Logan Chamberlain came from behind again to take down Fisher Hamilton. He was down 16-2 to two and came back and won 21-16. Good God. Comeback king, Logan Chamberlain today. All right, does he roll around it to try and pick up four and tie the game? He is. Oh, almost gives up the scores too, excuse me. 17-15. Yeah, bag just eh, laying it a little awkwardly on the board and didn't, didn't get the right bounce that he wanted. So he's still in it, down by two, 17-15. Who's Jackson? Jackson is the, the kid in the blue and uh, red jersey. Ethan Emacs in the white t-shirt. Are we going to have to come up with a nickname for the Candler Bad fans? They're almost as bad as the Jeremiah Owls right. fans. <laughs> Jackson goes roll, misses left. How does Ethan want to play this? This could work out very well in his favor. He's going to take a timeout. Ryan Trader is not here. No. If you play your cards right, if Ethan does, you can win the game on this round. You can for sure win the game on this round. And how would you do that, Jake? It's a great question. I don't hate an airmail here. I also don't hate a roll. Keep you want to leave that front bag? Yeah, keep the board messy and clean up on your last bag. He's going up. Hits the airmail with the drag. Almost fell out of my chair because it unlocked. <laughs> Big time shot for Ethan. And now Jackson has some work to do. He's going to go slick side, and there it is. Slide shot with the collect for the win for Ethan Farius. Jackson grabs his things. Ethan, oh, he hits no. the push, but the bag doesn't go. Oh, my goodness. It's only two. Take a look at this. <laughs> Bang on the back side. All right, you're coining them the baggers, Michelle. Okay. Fair enough. Man, that's an unlucky break for Ethan right there. Really unlucky. All right. He still, it still looks like he's thinking about it. He needs to let that go and just play this round. Don't let Jackson back in this game. Ooh, wow. Nice get around. And that could be it right there. That bag is done. It's out of play. A four-bagger for Ethan Farias is going to win it. Yeah. This bag needs to be a block from the Jackson. And it is. Pretty simple. Bag in hand in the hole for the win for Ethan. Slick side down. No. That's two rounds in a row. He has a shot to win. Cannot take advantage. The block worked. This bag by Jackson has to be in the hole. And it is. Okay, you know, 
Let's he's put had, a, yeah. He's had fourth bag, bag problems, yeah, let's this, put a, this whole game. Let's put a point, let's put a bookmark on these last two rounds. Ethan, two chances with a bag in hand to win the game. Missed both of them. We'll see if Jackson can stay in it. That's off to the left. That's a tough grab. Can Ethan cut around this three times? That's just as good. Yeah, this puts, he's going slick. Go right through it. Beautiful, and you bring that a little bit closer. That, that was a great shot. Underrated shot right there. Slick side down again, normal shot. You're gonna bring that bag back. Oh, oh, he threw it short. Oh, no. That's his second short bag of the game. And now, Ethan taking a second to do some math. Once again, bag in hand. You slide this in, you win the game. He's going, going slow side. And he misses again. This is a little bit more difficult. Jackson has to grab that bag on the left side of the hole. Max is not letting us off easy. <laughs> he cannot oh, grab it. Goodness. A little too far to the right. And Ethan Farias takes down Jackson Remick. Congrats to him. All right, y'all. Need a commercial break. When we come back, another Logic player, Julius Reyes Jr., going up against the reigning doubles champ, Adam Hipster. Don't go away. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to open number 10 here, American Cornhole League. 
like we're live in Mesa, Arizona, the Arizona Athletic Grounds. Look, day three, and we finally got it. We got the name right. <laughs> Let's go. We're feeling good. It's me, Corey Corn Russell here, hanging out with Mr. Jake Brannon. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 yo. This match is already around into it. Didn't even notice. Oh, they have started. So Julius Reyes Jr. versus Adam Hisner here on court number one. Um, where am I? Okay. There we go. All right, let's go through brackets one more time. We've reached the final four in each bracket except for this one because this match had to wait. So the winner of this will play Logan Chamberlain. I'm sorry, not uh, Justin Burton Jr., excuse me. On the other side of the bracket, you got Ruben Snyder and Logan Dupler. Bracket B, you have Levi Haddock and Ethan Farias. On the other side, you got Hayden Gonzalez and Adrian Brunson. Bracket C, you got Devin Harbaugh and Alex Rawls, Logan Chamberlain and Blaine Frericks. And in bracket D, you got Gavin Cano and Matt Allen, Richard Nyberg and Hunter Thorson. Those are the final 16 players still alive in the winner's bracket. That's a two spot for Julius Reyes Jr. Give him a lead, three to two. This is going to be a much more fast paced game than the last one. Yeah. These, much more. <laughs> these guys are throwing fast. And we're okay with that. The juice is loose, let's go. I like it. So what's up, everybody in chat? Hopefully you're enjoying this. You're hopefully you're enjoying your beautiful Sunday. I know you are because you're tuning into the American Cornwall League and oh, hanging yeah. out with me and Jake here. Ooh, a little to the left. We'll see if Adam can grab this. Slick side down. Oh, just missed it. Yeah, kind of. Eh, doesn't really bring it back. So we're gonna wash it out, 10-10 wash. So two to three. Is Mark Richards playing? No. Not here. No. Adam Hisner, he sees a block. He's not going to mess with it. He's nope. just going to go airmail. Nope. Social. There we go. Juice, he's even got some, uh, is he sponsored by a juice company or something? Looks like he's got some juice on the back of his jersey. Juice bottles. That would be that would be pretty sick. <laughs> that would be sweet. All right, juice companies, if you're looking to sponsor a cornhole player and me, maybe sponsor Julius Reyes Jr. and Corey Russell here on the, the live stream court. Chase, you want to know? Uh, not Chase. I'm so sorry. I called you Chase. Wow. I am so sorry. Okay, Walter. <laughs> I am so sorry. You know what? I like to stir the pot. So let me stir the pot a little Here bit. Here we go. Julius Ray is junior, technically foot fouls every time he throws. Don't do it. He steps over, but he picks that back foot up. Why would you do which that is to us, Jake? Technically a foot foul. We were having a beautiful Sunday. Look, until it needs Jake. to be. Look, somebody in the comments is going to bring it up eventually. Let me bring it up. It's fine. It's on the players to call. And I don't think Adam Hisner gives a crud. <laughs> hey, he did foot well there. There you go. Did he not? He did not. Maybe he's listening to me. <laughs> he's got you in the headphones. What if yep, people, that one was good. That what, one was good. What if people were listening to the live stream as they were throwing? If, Julius, if you're listening to this live stream, <laughs> make eye contact with me at the end of this round. <laughs> 
Oh, I love it. It's a 10 for Reyes and a 12 for Hisner, and he's looking down. So I don't think he has his earbuds in. No. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have AirPods in. He can't listen to me. Ladies and gentlemen, is he? Are those just juice bottles on the back of his jersey for fun, or is he sponsored by some like organic juice company? That'd be sick. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Ooh, that sounds good. If you want to DoorDash me and Jake some good like organic juice, that would be prime. I love it, love it. Yeah, let us know. I'll send you the address. You can DoorDash us some juice. Yeah, let's go. Just juice boxes. They're there for fun. Okay. Somebody get that man a sponsorship. Max. Slick side down. I think he was maybe looking to grab it. Could not do it. It'll stay four to three. <laughs> Brought to you by Simply Orange. There we go. <laughs> That'd be sick. Somebody email them right now. Email them the link to the live stream. All right, what's up, everybody? We got about 2K of you in uh, TikTok, and where are we at? Oh, YouTube is overtaking the Facebook. Uh oh. Facebook, those early risers, but YouTube's coming in strong. You know, because they party on YouTube. Hi, I'm YouTube, and I like to party. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> That's a big round for Adam Hisner. Give him five. Oh, we're singing happy birthday. Yay. Yay. I'm sure that was for Gavino Delgado, Athena's husband. So Athena Delgado is a goat of um, directors. Nice cut around by Hisner. This could be four more. Never mind. Now he's going to go slick side, try to grab that front back and steal a point. Missed it that time. Hisner unable to make that one as well. Oh, missed it too far left, and Hisner still going to take a point. Seven on six. Last day of open number 10 here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't hit that like button yet, uh, do that now. Facts. All right, all back, staying down the middle this round. But I just said jinx. Yep, way to go. <laughs> All right, so Julius is going to pick up two on that. Five to ten now. Slick side down. Going to go after it. Missed it left to see if Hisner can push it out of the way. Beautifully done. <laughs> I wonder when he's not playing Cornell, does his arm permanently stay bent like that? <laughs> That'd be amazing. Hisner looking to pick up at least two. That's what it'll be, 
All right, it has been confirmed. Next match, we'll be bringing you showing some Pacific Northwest love. Hayden Gonzalez versus Adrian Brunson. Uh -oh. Winner of that goes to the King Seat game. All right. Another match I get to be a little biased in. And I've then, loved. if the game ends quick enough, we got a special treat for y'all. I won't give it away just yet. You got to stay with us. Wow, Jake, you can't do us like that. Yes, I can. Oh. Adam, good to go for that. Now nah, you're already giving up four. Take your, take your lumps. Oh, we got lucky. You got lucky. Juice. You got to finish those. But he'll still pick up two. Put them on. Or one. Yeah, one. It was, wait. I'm confused. Did we miss something? I don't know. Okay. Sure. Well, but it's not up to us if they mess up the score. Yep. When he's not throwing bags, he's shoveling and raking mulch. So it was nine on seven, it looks like. Oh, uh, okay. Or nine on eight, excuse me. Okay. Never, Wesley. All right, going up. Bang! Oh. Doesn't hit the airmail drag, but he does hit the airmail. 12 7. All right, so only down by five. Every throw from the outside is illegal, yes. From when, he throws in, uh, when he throws inside, it looks pretty, pretty good, but technically speaking, every time he throws with his outside arm, it is a foot foul. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Yes. Okay. I thought it was just a fun joke. No, no, no. Okay, well, then I will retract my answer because I do not like answering any of these <laughs> questions. I don't like being a Look, part of you that got, discussion. You have, to, you have to talk about it. Nope, don't want to. <laughs> All right, so Adam's going to pick up another two there, 12, 14 yeah. to 7. And that score is definitely wrong. Got me all mixed up now. But yeah, see, watch. When he throws, he steps over, but he lifts that back foot up, which by the rule is a foot foul. I did not know that, Tim. Adam misses the back block. Big time push coming from Juice. Maybe not. Now he's staying sticky. Maybe a roll or an airmail. He's going up. Ooh. Hits the backside airmail. Nice shot. That was clean. Hisner answers. That was cleaner. Now does he think about going push? Yep. This is a tough push. Oh, he gets two out of three. Nice shot. He had to throw that bag real hard. Oh, yeah. Fourteen to nine. Round 17. clean this round. Ooh, just a little left. Still grabbable, but it's going to be tough. Oh, just missed it. Just missed it.
Okay, so Juice is still going to retain first bag here. Yeah, three-point game. Adam laying the side-by-side -side here. He's going to force Julius into a roll. No, he's going to try and push replace, but it just kind of clogs up. All right, they're just putting a lot of bags in front of the hole here. Big pile. I, th I don't know. Do you go backside airmail here? No, he's just going to lay up. Oh, tries the block, misses it off to the left. Ooh, we went hard at the pile. Nothing moved. Yeah. Going up. Lands short, knocks in one. This is what he wanted. Gets two. 16-11. How we doing out there? Let us know where you're tuning in from. Wherever you are at in the world. Hi chat. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep the, the bots out of there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to keep you guys keep it clean in the TikTok chat. Slick side down, Hissner way off the back. Juice gonna try to score some points. Did you ask some? Did you ask chat where they're from? <laughs> yep. I just sure see a lot of did. states come in. Okay. That's a three spot. Back down to a two point game. Man, it's good to see just from everywhere. Oh, <laughs> Ellie Nation. <laughs> we got like Puerto Rico and Vegas and Texas and California and Albuquerque and. Nebraska, Sweden, Montreal. Oh, Rock Hill, where the where the headquarters is. Board. Some more Texas, Philadelphia, or Pennsylvania. Uh oh. Hisner, beautiful cut around. This bag almost has to be in by Juice. Slick side down. Oh, he does a great job collecting. And it washes out. Adam misses his last bag. So beautiful collect from Juice right there. Take a look at that. I didn't even, I assumed he wasn't even going to go after it. Opposite hand, opposite side. That's tough. Staying in it. 16-14. Oh, yeah. Somebody's tuning in from my mom's house. Nice. <laughs> hey. Uh-oh. We're looking at a tie bag game all of a sudden. It looked like Hissner was going to run away with this, and now it's 16-16. I like that comment. Uh, Adam Hisner has a beer that refills automatically. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it just never empties. Yep, Kyle. He's here. Who's he? Adam Hisner. Yep. I don't know, Levi. Nobody will ever know. And if it if it isn't beer all the time, then good on Adam Hisner for recycling. <laughs> Four bagger for Hissner puts him on 20. I would love to mic up Adam for a singles game. He just talks to himself. Mm -hmm. It's so funny listening to what he says. Yeah. And now Julius has to be perfect.
Finally, somebody in TikTok chat. Anthony Leo, how are you guys doing today? <laughs> we're doing good. Thank you for asking. Yeah, we're doing great over here. Bag has to be in by Juice. And it is. No more mistakes from the Juice. Or else that's going to be game time. No, Kyle, it is not. Better not be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hopefully. And again, this bag has to be in by Juice. Oh. It is not. It kicks left, and that is Whoa. it. There's a boom. Adam Hissner is into the semifinals of bracket A. He will face Justin Burton Jr. Let's take a quick commercial break. When we come back, some young kids on the broadcast. Adrian Brunson, Hayden Gonzalez. Oh I'm just going to hit this oh, okay. button. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back in. We got our next match up here. We got Hayden Gonzalez Hayden, hailing from the Pacific Northwest. And we got Adrian Brunson coming out of Sacramento, California. Well, Yuba City or Marysville to be precise. But this 
this uh, round right here is going to start off live. So Hayden Gonzalez in the blue jersey throwing the dragon bags. And Adrian Brunson's going to be in the black BG hoodie throwing BG bags. So welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome in. How are we all doing today? Oh, TikTok, got to get you going. There we go. Hayden is from my state of Oregon. There we go. All right, so we're going to start off with the 4 nothing round for Hayden Gonzalez. All right, so this should be a fun match. Both playing the carpet style bags, play a dirtier kind of game, roll, cut, airmail, do all the things. Adrian's going to miss a little right on that one. Any Hawaii guys playing? Never mind. That comment just vanished. <laughs> All right, Adrian's got two bags off to the right. This could be another four-point round if Hayden finishes. Oh, no, that was weird. Okay. Um, Adrian going. Ooh. Oh, man. It's going to be a three. Let's go. What's going on? Seven nothing already? Yep, seven nothing. He's playing the Logan Chamberlain strategy. All right, time for my surprise. Coming up next, winner's bracket semis. Winner into the king seat, Devin Harbaugh, Alex Rawls. Okay, there we go. Sheesh. Sheesh. Oh, the front board from Hayden right there. Whoopsie. And Adrian's not going to take advantage of it. Just throws it off to the left. Still, if Adrian finishes out, he could pick up three. Yeah, looking to pick up some points. Starting off in a 7-0 hole. Whoa, that was almost a really weird but cool bag. It's going to be five if Adrian hits this right. And it is good bag. Right back in it, ladies and gentlemen. Hayden looking a, little, looking a little frustrated. Hayden Gonzalez, good old director of Michael Gonzalez's son. Yeah, national director. Yo. If you ever go to an ACL event this season, you will see him there. He's always wearing his red baseball cap. So go say hi to him at the director's table. Shout out to all the directors that have helped us this weekend put this event on for you guys. You know, they got to deal with a lot. They got to deal with all y'all out there. So be nice to them. They're working their hardest. Ooh, good push through for Hayden. Looking to pick up at least two. This is in for that. Count it. That's... Good, that's a good comeback after giving up five. Yeah. For Hayden. Nine five. This is very different to the other games. We've had a couple of games where nobody even scores a point till the fifth round. This game's already nine to five. What are my thoughts on the Orioles this season? I think there are a bunch of dogs. I think we should win the division again. I don't know, the Yankees are going to be tough. And hopefully we perform a little better in the playoffs. We were really young, unexperienced, and got our butts whipped in the playoffs. So I'm hoping that um, hopefully we can do it again. But uh, main goal, win the division. Toughest division in baseball, so we gotta, we got to get there first. But looking forward to it. It's going to be a fun year. Adrian going to go for his bag, missed it right, and gives up another point. Whoa, that was more than, oh, no, it was okay. He messed it up. It scared me for a second. 10-5 <laughs> lead, Hayden Gonzalez. Let's go through some brackets again. Justin Burton Jr., Adam Hisner has not started yet. Ruben Snyder, Duke, Logan Dupler has not started yet. Levi Haddock up 8-0 on Ethan Farias. 
Obviously the winner of that plays the winner of this one. And of those matches have started yet, Richard Nyberg up 7-6 on Hunter Thorson. And Gavin Cano up 7-6 on Matt Allen. Okay. Yeah, Kyle, why don't you go bang on some trash cans there, bud? It's a two spot for Adrian Brunson, 10-7. I love Hayden's facial reactions after a round. Mm -hmm. He'll just laugh. Not taking it, you know, he's having a good time with it. side for Hayden. He's not going to go after it. Adrian going to hope to get a couple. All right, way in the back block, but it misses a little right. Oh, wow, really nice push through. The toughest division in baseball is definitely not the AL West. Nice push through here from Hayden. They wash out the round. The Rangers are good. So are the Astros, but the AL East, all five teams are playoff caliber. Any team with the Oakland Athletics, any division with the Oakland Athletics in there are not a good division. So sorry. NL West is all right. Giants and Rockies are mid. Oh, Aiden off the back. Oh, it just stands up. Look at that. Aiden sits behind. Oh, this is a big time push coming from Adrian Brunson. Going slow side though. Oh, oh he rims out. More people might be watching this live than going to Oakland A's game. It's funny, but also true. Hayden going to go roll again. No, that's a three spot. Whoa. My father is an Oakland Athletics fan. You guys watch yourselves. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No, but um, no, I'm not saying that. The Mariners are going to be good. You got three solid teams in the AL West, but I don't expect the Angels to do anything after they got rid of Shohei. I cannot believe they still have Mike Trout. And the A's are the A's. Mm -hmm. For the AL East, I mean, all five teams can make the playoffs. When was the last time the AL East did anything? The Red Sox won the World Series in 2018. Almost gets the coin slot there. Oh, nice bounce over. The Rays made the World Series in 2020. through no bounces over Hayden looking to capitalize and will wow Rob comes in with an essay yeah I'm not, I'm not <laughs> gonna try to read all that but <laughs> Fast-paced. Yeah, you were right about how we've had games that have yeah. been zero to zero at this point. Oh no, that fourth bag checks up by Adrian. Give Hayden two more, make it 14 to 10. Um. Okay, Andrew, I will check that out then.
14-10 lead. Cool story, Nicholas. I mean, come on, though. Oh, nice rollover. Living in the past, Nicholas. Oh, that bag sits on the back lip. Audio is buffering. They're taking that. Oh, nice air mill. We are going to work on fixing that in just a second. Adrian is going to take a timeout. is aware of the audio. See what Adrian does. He's going up for the airmail. Oh no, he knocks in one of each. That is a four spot though. We are all tied at 14. Nope, there you go. <laughs> Sounds like a loose cable. Yeah, we're gonna, uh, Corey's gonna check the cables in. Let us know how that works. We uh, started with the most simple solution, turning something off and turning it back on. So let us know how that worked out. Adrian, great side-by-side. -side. Hayden has no choice, really. He tried to bounce over it. He's going to give up two more. It's a lead change. Adrian takes a 16-14 lead. Still choppy. All right, thank you. We are working on it. Hayden needs a four bagger in the worst. First to five. Aiden in. Uh oh, that bag kicks right. That's out of play. Nice push through from Aiden. Uh oh, that's another bag to the right side. Hayden does a great job sneaking around, but it doesn't fall. Adrian can go in for two. You got to be, uh, to give up two, excuse me. You got to be careful you don't take that dragon bag. Oh, we almost took the entire pile. It'll end up being two. Hayden's going to retake the lead. It's 18 16. Cut around for Adrian. Hayden sneaks around as well. Well, 
Well, it's not terrible if you're Adrian. Hayden going to take a timeout. Good. I think we're good. Corey tried the second easiest solution, turning the stream off and turning it back on, and I think the audio may be good. Let us know, chat. What does Hayden do here in 18-16 game? Hayden goes roll and he gets it. Great roll for Hayden Gonzalez. This bag, he Adrian needs to get a bag in the hole, and he does. It's going to put him on 20. Take a look at this roll. This is not the replay I showed. That's all right. <laughs> all right, cool. Oh, you need to record the uh, press the record button. On oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right. That's all right. Okay, yeah, yeah. 20 to 16. Hayden Gonzalez, one point away. Don't forget, match coming up next. Alex Rawls, Devin Harbaugh. Tell your friends. All right. Yeah, sorry. Just a little bit of technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. We're, we're working through those. Uh-oh. Let's see if Hayden is tempted to grab that bag. Never mind. He misses right. Adrian sits in front. I like an airmail here. If you can somehow grab that bag, it's going to be huge. He's going to go roll, play conservative, and misses short. Adrian can cut around for two. No, it sits on top, and we're looking at a 6-6 six, six wash. All right, Jake, you're going to have to <laughs> take the rest of this game. i got to handle some business. You're good. I got you. Hayden Gonzalez looking for one more point. Oh, wow, beautiful roll by Adrian to sit in front. And a nice cut around from Hayden. Oh, beautiful airmail drag. Hayden sits in front. This is, this is in to put him on 20 and tie the game back up again. He gets it. Big time round from Adrian Brunson. Take a look at this airmail drag. It is 20 to 20. Back block from Hayden. Here we go. First one to score wins the game. What does Adrian want to do here? Taking an extra second. Both players have a bag in. Adrian going roll. Sits on the right lip of the hole. Hayden going to go roll. He misses left. Adrian in a better position. He's going to take a timeout. What do you want to do here? Adrian, if you shoot an airmail and drag it, it's for the win. But if you miss off the board, Hayden will just have to lay up for the win. If you roll and go in, you force Hayden to have to go in. A couple of options. He's going to go roll, and it does not fall. And now Hayden's going to take a timeout. 
he has a role for the win. Or if he wants to go slick side up the middle, he has that option as well. Let's see what he wants to do. Bag in the hole for the win. You throw it off the board, you lose. He's going to roll, and he gets it in. What a bag. Hayden Gonzalez takes down Adrian Brunson and is into the king seat game of bracket B. Take a look at this shot one more time. This was for the win. Beautifully done. All right, y'all, going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, Alex Rawls, Devin Harbaugh on the court. Don't go away. I'm here with ACL Pro, Alex Rawls, gonna do a quick down and back, ask you some rapid fire questions. So real quick, first things first, how did you get started in Cornell? Uh, playing local blind draws, usually a lot of bars, so playing those around the area, grew up, started playing bigger tournaments. Who's, uh, who's one ACL Pro you look up to and why? Uh, I used to look up to Matt Guy and Jamie Graham just because they've been playing Cornhole a really long time and I just thought they had the best game in their era. I like it. What do you think is your strongest aspect of your game that is better than any other pro on the circuit right now? I would probably say my block. My block game right now is probably top top of the league. I can place it back anywhere on the board. Okay. What would you say is your biggest weakness right now in your game? Uh, I don't know. I'm just missing left. <laughs> do you have any role models in your life that's outside of Cornell? Uh, my grandpa that passed away a year ago, but you know, he's, he was a big part of my coral journey, so kind of doing everything for him. And what is your main goal this upcoming season with new pro, new partner Derek Holland? Finish the number one team in the world. All right. Appreciate it, Alex. Thank you. Thanks, man. All right, welcome back in it, everybody. It is time, big time match coming up here. Winner to the King Seat game, Alex Rawls, Devin Harbaugh. Let's get some score predictions in the chat, whether you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, or ACL Cornhole TV. Would love to get some score predictions. This is going to be a fun game. Harbaugh on your left throwing the Viper R's. Rawls on your right throwing the AAR Rippers. 
Hey, I appreciate that, Joshua. Yeah, it was fun doing that interview. Alex is a great dude to talk to. We do have some bracket updates. In bracket A, Adam Hisner takes down Justin Burton Jr. 21 to 10. So he is into the King Seat game where he will play the young kid from Pennsylvania, Logan Dupler. He beat Ruben Snyder 21 to three. In bracket B, we just watched Hayden Gonzalez make his way to the King Seat game where he will play Levi Haddock who beat Ethan Ferries. Ferries. Ferris. Bracket C, this one's the furthest behind. Logan Chamberlain up 20 to 10 on Blaine Frerichs. The winner of that gets the winner of this match. And then over in bracket D, Gavin Cano versus Hunter Thorson will be the king seat game in there. Awesome talk. I like it. I like it. All right. Still a 0 0 game. I don't know who to pick in this one. Both players are money. Harbaugh going roll. That's actually not a terrible bag. We're all stepping out. Going to try to push this out of the way. Oh, he actually tried to flop over that. Now he has whole control. Our ball misses way left, and now this looks like a possible four. Not terrible. All right, I will tell that to Corey. Audio is choppy again. Oh no! What looked like it was going to be four ends up in another wash. Nice cut over by Harbaugh. Back block, here we go. Interesting already. Let's see what Alex does here. He's going to go roll. No. Harbaugh going roll. No. Looking at the Jumbotron, figuring out what he wants to do. He goes roll. Oh, just too much. Nice little monster energy drink to uh, pump up the energy. Can you show the Tony Smith shot? I will 100% show you that again.
Harbaugh pushing through and kind of clogs the hole up. Perfect. Evan is going to take a timeout. See what he wants to do here. I mean, landing on top of the pile is probably your best option. You just don't want to miss right and only knock in Alex's. Freight train. I like that. I like that, Greg. does he is he's going to go roll and nothing moves Alex is going to lay up and take the wash I'm going to take the two points excuse me oh I had no idea that the audio was choppy thank you guys thank you for telling me did not know you guys are awesome Yeah, Devin and Schwartz is a little weird. Is it good? Nope. Okay, Corey's working on it. First back block up 5-2. Devin again off that left side. Still in play, but it's going to take a lot to grab. Beautiful replacement. Uh-oh. That's worst case scenario for Harbaugh. Alex gives it back, though. Guaranteeing himself two points. Harbaugh in with an eight. Oh, awkward knuckles. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get it. That's all right. Coming up next match after this, the King Seed game of Bracket D, Gavin Cano, Hunter Thorson. That match will be next. Still 7-2. Interesting, the audio on TikTok sounds perfectly fine, somebody says. So it's just on YouTube. All right, well, YouTube, what the heck, bro? I 
take a look at I'll take a look at PPRs after this round. Harbaugh in for two. Count it. Seven to four. Alex throwing an eight eight nine. Harbaugh an eight five six. Oh, Facebook is also choppy. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Corey's working on it. This could be another two spot for Devin Harbaugh. And that's what it'll be, 7-6. Eight in a row from Devin. The next game that will be shown will be the Bracket D winner's final between Hunter Thorson and Gavin Cano. Alex stepping out to grab it. Wow, what a bag. Another four-bagger for Harbaugh. That's 12 in a row. And a social... Harbaugh stepping way out to the edge of the mat and sits behind. Rawls going to try to roll over the pile. Beautifully done. Harbaugh has an opportunity for an airmail drag if he wants it. He's going up. Off the back. And now a roll for Rawls will give him five. Assuming he doesn't take that back. Oh, we know he actually takes it and sits up. So it's only going to be one. Harbaugh going to see if he can wrap around this a little bit. Not quite. Push through a four-bagger for Rawls, and Harbaugh answers. Social. PPR check. 
Rawl throwing a 9-3-8. Harbaugh a 9-2-3. Not the greatest PPRs of all time. Nice cut around by Devin. Alex collects. Another social. Eight six bag game. Rawl, that is a low block, level two, right on this DB logo. Harbaugh steps out, going to try to cut around this. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, he's okay with that. Ends up being a back block. Whoa! This time, Harbaugh cannot get a cut around. And a timeout. This has been an ugly round by these two. Frustration on the face of Alex Rawls. Let's hear. Good. Going roll misses left. That's a two for Alex Rawls. What does Harbaugh want to do? He's going to take a timeout as well. Not every day Alex Rawls throws a two. So Devin Harbaugh needs to capitalize. He's looking at getting at least two of these bags. much anything. Can you press record in case something crazy happens? Nope. Okay. Never mind. Going at the pile. Oh my word. It's a one spot. Three on two. Eight to seven. Rawls sits in front. Harbaugh tries to cut around it. Oh, wow. Kind of bar him soaps himself. Harbaugh collecting. Alex can grab that gray back for two points, and he does. Good shot. Make it 10-7. Round 17, they've only scored 17 combined points. First bag block a little too far left. Roll for Alex, misses left. The pile, interesting formation. Not the end of the world if you're Devin. Alex going to step out. And he gets two out of three to fall. 
I'm not sure if Devin can go in here without that great bag, but he's going to give it a try. He cannot. Ends up being a 12-12 watch. Those of you just joining us, we know the audio is bad. Just bear with us for a little bit. Ball looking to limit the damage to two. Ooh, now we can sneak around that right side and wash out the round. And he cannot give Rawls two more. Harbaugh trying to change something up. The jacket has come off. Nothing going right for Harbaugh right now. Rawls going to try to roll over this. Beautifully done. We're looking at a 10 on 3 with that gray bag is hanging in the hole. Ball slick side down. This would be an incredible shot. Going at the pile. Oh no, he bar soaps himself and goes off the back. Lucky for him that that gray bag stayed up. That's a seven. And all of a sudden, it is 19 to seven. Yeah, sounds like turning the audio down and using subtitles might be the way to go for the time being. Corey, uh, Corey's working hard trying to fix it. Side by side for rolls. Nice roll from Harbaugh. Possible bar of soap coming. Harbaugh's going to go for it. Missed it off the back. And now this is in for the win for Alex Rawls. Count it. Definitely not how we thought this game was going to go. Alex Rawls makes it look easy. All right, Corey has informed me that we are going to restart the stream to try to fix this audio problem. So bear with us. We're going to edit the stream. We're going to come back a couple seconds later, and hopefully this audio will be fixed. But when we come back, Gavin Cano, Hunter Thorson, we'll be right back. 